Hey everyone, HF Masters here, and today we are doing a LEGO Next Nights review on the Berserker Bomber. This set retails for $29.99 in the United States and comes with 369 pieces. The set also comes with three minifigures being Macy, Berserker, and Mechbiter. On the front it just shows the Berserker Bomber just kind of flying in and Macy coming in trying to attack the Berserker Bomber. On the back, it shows off some of the features that we will be going over and review. But anyways, let's open this set up. Before I begin the review of the Berserker Bomber, I would like to state that there is an error in the instruction manual. On step 14, as you can see here, there is a 1x2 lime green piece added and that is obviously supposed to be there however if we flip through to page 30 that piece is missing when you add this segment of the berserker bomber so i thought that was a little bit of something interesting that lime green two by one piece is supposed to be there and i just wanted to mention this hopefully lego can uh, see this and they'll uh, fix it um, other than that the instruction manual was fine though but anyways let's get on to the set the berserker bomber itself does take up most of the build and is very nice and very impressive first off there is a cockpit where you can have one of your minifigures and there's a little bit of detailing going on there are stickers here other than that though there's not really too much and one complaint you might have about this is that there is some exposed parts about it that you may not like however I personally am fine with it. The back of this is a little bit hollow mainly because this is where the viral suit attaches however I do like this part of it a lot. It's not really my favorite part however I do think it looks good. I do like the trans green elements there that really just kind of like works really well the whole color scheme of this works well you can see that there are a few exposed pins and axles which could be a little bit annoying however other than that it's not too bad and of course we have the little handle here however I'm not really too much of a fan of it this it's really really small and there's not too much personally I like to hold it here it just works better for me. The top of the ship is also very interesting because we have an eye here and I don't really know what the whole point of this eye is. It's um, pretty interesting though. I know that this is, it's got to do something with the story. It probably has some sort of significance. Um, you can move it around and of course you also have the area with the nexo power which can move up and down and you can also remove the nexo power lastly we have the wings which personally i think are fine there's not really too much going on here you do have a little bit of posability with you know moving these around you can move them up and down or you could just angle them forward which i have no issue with i think the wings are fine they look good the only complaint you, you could possibly have is maybe maybe like uh, this area it's kind of hard to shoot um, the studs when you have this down other than that I think the wings really work well and I do also want to mention that this piece is not a print it is a sticker it is not a nexo power uh, just wanted to quickly mention that the Berserker Bomber also comes with a Viro suit, which is basically a simplified battle suit. There's not really too much happening here. There's, of course, the standard poseable limbs. However, we do have a nice little kind of stud shooter, which instead of using studs, uses something else. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm sure it does have to do with something in the story. And probably the most interesting part of this is in the inside they actually have just a small sticker piece there so he can actually see something and he's like kind of controlling something which I think is kind of interesting since it's not really something you're gonna be seeing a lot but 
it does kind of show off that there's some detailing going on, and I do appreciate that. This set comes with two villain minifigures being Mechabiter and Berserker. Now, Mechabiter really doesn't have too much happening here, he just has a spear, and Berserker is definitely the more menacing one out of these figures. He has shoulder armor along with some addings onto his helmet. Probably the most interesting thing about this is his helmet covers up basically his entire face, which I kind of find interesting and also kind of makes him a little more scary. His torso printing, in my opinion, is okay. I personally like Mecha Biter's torso printing a lot better, but that's my opinion. The back, it's fine. And of course, taking off the helmet, again reveals a very strange face. Lastly, just taking a very quick look at the weapons, we have one kind of strange shield with a Nexo power that I don't really know what it is, however, you can tell it's definitely evil. I mean, there's a, there's like a guy being zapped there, without a doubt, it's, it's something evil. And then of course, there's just two very simple weapons, a spear and a weird kind of type of sword, a little bit of, um kind of like cust customized uh, stuff there going on with the bright trans green but other than that not really too much happening with the weapons I've gotta say Macy is probably the most impressive figure out of this set by far I mean the gold printing on her is just insane and in fact just in general the printing is so good and I think that everything just kinda looks really nice the gold and the trans red and even the red just all blend together really well and it just kind of makes this really cool figure. Taking off some of the armor you can see how just awesome this printing is. Just so much is happening here and I really gotta say I really appreciate this however it also kind of gives me a feeling that this may be it for Nexonites. Um, and that's a little bit of a uh, little bit of a shame because I mean these figures are just insane. They're so good. And of course, the back, the printing, it's not as good, but I mean it's still really, really nice, and I really do appreciate it. Lastly, we have the Murloc power, which has a mace on it. I'm not really too sure what this is supposed to do. However, I imagine it would give a Macy's mace some sort of crazy buff. After all, this Nexo, or not Nexo, Murloc power does seem to be based off a mace, so it would make sense that it would do something to Macy's mace. Overall, I have to say I really like this set. The Berserker Bomber in general is just a really good aircraft, a lot of nice stuff happening there. You've got the six stud shooters, you've got places for the weapons, and it's just, in general, very easy to use and very easy to play with. Along with the fact that there's, a, that there's the virus suit that is detachable from it. That's just a nice little additional thing. Very simple, but very nice, very cool, and adds to the playability. And of course, I just, I just absolutely love Macy. Macy is just so, so good. Just, I can't even explain it. Just really, really good figure there. Everything about Macy, in my opinion, is just awesome. But that is my thoughts on the Berserker Bomber. Feel free to comment below what you guys think of this set, and if you have any other questions or if I may have missed anything, please feel free to tell me in the comment section below. But until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.